Hey guys, it's Miss Pariseau here. So if you weren't in class today or um, you just want a refresher of what we did, here is the dilations discovery activity and all of this is available to you on OneNote. So just to kind of introduce what is a dilation, we took a look at um, some just step by step. So I've already gone ahead and recorded my coordinates from the given image, the pre-image, okay? Um, and then it tells me the directions to multiply the x and y value by 2 to get a new coordinate. So a, and remember when I do something to a point, I'm going to put the prime symbol. All right, so if I multiply both of them by uh, 2, I'm going to get negative 4, 2. So this b prime will become 8, 6, and c prime will become 0, negative 6. So now I'm going to go ahead and graph um, that those new points. So I'll do that in a different color here. So I have negative 4, 2, and that is a prime. And then I have 8, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That's b prime. And 0, negative 6 will be down here for c prime. Okay. And I will use my ruler for precision. Oops, not very precise there, Miss P. All right, so you can see the pink is my new image and uh, the black one was the pre-image. So this is describe what happened to the pre-image. Well, I'm hoping that you can see that it has gotten larger, okay? So again, let's just pay attention to what we are asked to do and what happened to the shape. So it got larger. All right, so then here in this one, it said, so we've already recorded the points, and it said this time to multiply the value by one third to get the new one. So we get a prime, so basically dividing by three. So we're gonna get negative three, two. B prime is gonna be zero, three. And C prime is gonna be negative one, negative one. All right. So I'm gonna go ahead and graph those and see what happens. Negative three, two, one, two, three, one, two. So there is A prime, zero, three. There is B prime. And C prime is negative one, one, C prime. Don't really need my ruler for this one because it's tinier. And since it, we can see what happened, it was a large shape and now it's a small shape. So it shrunk, okay, shrink. You could say it reduce, got smaller, all those words work, okay? So again, taking a look here. Here we multiplied by two, and what happened to it? Here we multiply by one third, taking a look at what happened to that. All right, and then here on the back, now we're gonna multiply by a negative two and see what happens to the shape now. So a prime is going to be negative four, negative six. B prime is gonna be negative 10, negative 10. And C prime is gonna be negative six, zero. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and graph those. Negative four, negative six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So a prime is right there. Negative 10, that's there over here. So that's B prime, just kidding, almost put a C. And negative six, zero, negative six, zero. Okay, pretty sure it graphed those all correct. Boop, my A's. That's probably why I should label them after you've connected the dots, make sure it's not in the way. So this is, let's rename that up there, A prime. All right, so take a look. It's bigger, but also kind of compare it, like look at where the A is now. Is it still, I mean, if we go back and take a look um, at the original, like when we multiply by, by a two, what happened? Okay, the A, it's, they're, they're still kind of in that same order, all right? Uh, when we multiplied it by a fraction, they're still kind of, it looks like it just kind of, almost a translation in a way. Uh, it, it, except it shrunk, okay? Everything kind of slid over and got smaller. But here, we notice that my shape has completely turned around, okay? So if I were to kind of 
turn it all the way around, now it looks like what I originally had. So it's kind of done a 180. Okay, so um, then we are asked to say, what conclusions can you make when you multiply the coordinates of the shape? Well, when we multiplied by a number that was um, positive and greater than uh, greater than one, okay, we it can get larger. When we multiplied by a fraction, which is kind of like dividing, but we are always going to talk about multiplying. When we multiply by a fraction, it got smaller. Okay. And then when we had a negative number in here, our shape actually even turned. So a negative number, the shape turns. All right. So based on those observations that we just saw, let's take a look at what do we think might have happened to these. Okay, so it says use your observations to describe what happened to each figure listed below. All right, and be specific. Okay, so I went from 12, 8 to 6, 4. Well, that's kind of like dividing by 2 or multiplying by 1 half. Let's see if that was true for all of these. Negative 4 divided by 2. 2 divided by 2, yep. So it means multiplied by 1 half or divided by 2. So if I'm multiplying by 1 half or dividing by 2, based on example B, that must mean that my pre-image was getting smaller. Okay, so it reduced its size. All right, if I take a look here, I went from negative 2 to negative 6, I went negative 3 to negative 9, 1 to 3, so it looks like they're all being multiplied by 3, and even the y values. Got to make sure that those are checking out too. So if I'm multiplying by 3, that shape is going to end up being larger. Okay? And now if I'm taking a look here, 2 to negative 4, well, that's multiplying by a negative 2, multiplying by a negative 2. Can't really, nothing happening there, but if you multiply 0 by anything, it's still going to be 0. But what happened when we multiplied by a negative 2 here? It got larger. It definitely got larger, okay, because of that multiplying by 2. It wasn't a fraction. But that negative sign is going to, let's say, turn it, okay? So being able to see the effect um, this is actually the multiplying, uh, we're going to get into in our guided notes in just a second, is our scale factors. How are we, this is your dilation. How are we dilating the image? So think about your eyes and dilating it there. So this was just kind of to introduce you to visually see what happens to a, a figure or a point. Um, it's, it's more so a figure, you, you know, you can dilate one point, but it's just going to change its location. So it's more about the figure that you want to see. So it can either completely turn it around, it can make it larger, or it can make it smaller. So that was the mini dilations discovery activity. Go ahead and make sure you follow through and watch the dilations guided notes.